Who am I playing with? Dato. And what are we playing? Mm, you know, hi all. Uh, okay, ops have pre-alerted a bunch of stuff. Rusino leads through to Claire. Interesting. Um, I wonder what Roman discard is. Low from Doubletons. I wonder if partner's typing in a system. I'm just going to say no Smith. <clears throat> okay, well, here we go. Let's do it. One spade, three hearts. Um, I could bid four hearts. I could bid four spades. I could bid three spades. I don't think three spades is a good bid. I'm going to bid four spades. I don't want to encourage partner to slam. I think I I don't have great sources of tricks and diamonds and clubs. If I had a fourth trump, I would be a lot more comfortable bidding four hearts. But with the short trumps and no obvious source of tricks, despite some nice controls, ace of diamonds, king of spades, heart void, <clears throat> four hearts would have put us in a force. So obviously if East was planning to bid five hearts here, um, then, you know, I mean, like, if West had bid five hearts, then partner could have made a forcing pass. Obviously if East bids five hearts, I can make a forcing pass because... There's no way East is planning to take 11 tricks on his own by bidding three hearts. Good luck, Pard. Okay, well. <laughs> that's, that's a hand. So this is good to keep in mind. East is in nutcase. I mean, maybe hearts could be 8500 zero, zero around the table. I suppose it's possible. But I think it's much more likely that East is just insane. Five of clubs to the king is interesting. Ace of clubs. So did they lead second best? If East follows low... Oh, maybe it is the singleton. Maybe East is showing out on this trick. I don't understand why West won the king, then. Okay, East follows with the nine. Another club. We can just rough low. <sighs> All right. Not going to comment too much on partner's play. I'm paying attention to the opponent's signals because I want to get a sense for what they're doing, but whatever. Partner can make his contract or not make his contract. Who knows? Three hearts. I'm excited to find out what this three heart bit is. <clears throat> that was really sketchy from East, huh? 
They led low from a doubleton and then tanked for a while before playing the nine of clubs. I mean, I have no idea what their lead agreements are. Why would... Oh, yeah, partner roughed because they thought that East had... um. Uh, queen third of clubs, which I mean, I would think too. Do they say that they're playing um, second best leads? Oh, they do. They do. I apologize. So yeah, East actually is known to have a doubleton from their lead agreements. You know, this is something that I think um, lower level players from other countries will frequently do if they come to the US or ACBL tournaments is that that they'll make this like false card of winning the king of clubs here even though in their home country it would be 100% guaranteed that their partner started with you know small doubleton and no one would fall for this false card but if you're less familiar with their carding methods then um Obviously, this has a lot more going for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spade to the king. So I guess we're going down a few. We're not doubled, which might be okay, but, I mean, obviously it would have been better to um, go after the opponents in a heart contract. I bet East is like 6-4 as opposed to 7-3-2-1, but I guess we'll find out when partner roughs a heart. <clears throat> yeah, East is just 6-4 in the red suits, terrible heart suit, no real shape. Good heart spots, but... You know, king 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 is not really the type of hand you want to preempt over spade. East was just incredibly lucky that you know, I had a fairly weak end, but with a heart void. If we flip our two heart suits, if I have ace, queen, jack, fifth, we know how that's going to end. And East would get in huge trouble. <clears throat> this doesn't feel like the play from partner. At least try and cash the club. I mean, obviously Wes can rough in and play back a trump. But I mean, also, wouldn't that have got him out for down one fewer? Because now West just caches the diamond. Yeah, it feels like down two was possible. Anyway, so that's what East thinks a three-heart bid should look like in this auction. I will remember that. Now I'm just going to double East whenever they do anything preemptive. So are these... I don't think these are scored barometer. I'm pretty sure they're not scored barometer. <clears throat> so I think that means we don't get to know what our set looks like until the very end. Spade, two diamonds, two spades.
what else did I need to pay attention to about the opponent's carding? Low from Doubleton, high from three small. Attitude against no trump. I still don't know what Roman discards are. Upside down. Yeah, and Rusno three declare. Okay. So it looks like opponents are in a game force. Let me look up Roman discard. Odd even. I see. Four club cubid. I probably would have doubled a heart cubid. I mean, it looks like they're going to end up in spades to me, but East has supported diamonds. Sounds like they're off a couple of heart tricks, so let's leave the king of hearts. <clears throat> king eight six two. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to cash the Queen of Hearts and then switch to Diamonds. I hope that partner has, like, the King of Spades and I can get a Diamond Rough. Seems like the best chance to beat this. Declares once again doing their trick to tank when they have nothing to think about. That wasn't the play partner. Maybe partner's going to switch to a singleton club. I mean... Oh, if that was stiff ace, then we've done the wrong thing. Okay, never mind. I mean, partner should discourage at trick one if partner has the stiff ace of clubs, for sure. Because they can see a set, club to their ace, heart back to my queen. Yep. Looks good. So partner saved a trick at match points. Could have been very important by overtaking that heart. I was going to switch to my singleton diamond and declare would have had the rest. One spade. Two heart overcall. Well... We don't have a lot of info on West. Um, I mean, I bid four spades because it might actually be a good save. If I bid three spades and West doubles, I'm going to feel pretty upset about myself. So while I think like a decent amount of the time we're only taking nine tricks and I could easily cost our side four or five imps by doing this, some not insignificant amount of the time, I preempt them out of four hearts and we win a big swing. If he spits four hearts, I'll bid four spades as well. I think. Partner could have a good hand. Maybe it's right to defend. No, I'll just bid four spades. I 
Okay, we'll try and pay attention to what West's overcall looks like vulnerable. Double by East. Interesting. All right, Jack of Diamonds lead. Thanks, Bird. This to me doesn't feel like a three heart bid. I mean, three hearts is a limit raise. Partner has half of their hand in the heart suit. But okay. Um, I mean, it looks like four hearts will make if diamonds are 5-2, in which case maybe we've come up with a good save. Uh, let's see if we can cash some diamonds, right? I think we have to. Pitch a club. They play standard honor leads at trick one. Okay. I mean, if we're planning to make it, we still need to get both a club and a diamond rough. May as well play a diamond now. If West follows, then we can pitch a club. If West doesn't follow, we can uh, rough it. If that's ace-king, West doesn't have a very good hand. Eight of spades switch, huh? I'm gonna play low. <laughs> so diamonds are splitting. The opponents were not making four hearts. Yeah, West has a terrible hand. Okay, both of these people are psychotic in terms of their bidding. <clears throat> That's good to know. You know, we would have liked to win 30 imps on the first few boards, but I mean, overcalling two hearts is vulnerable against not with this hand is just absolute lunacy. I don't know if my partner's in tune to all of these things. We'll see. Four spades was a cheap save, but obviously they're just cold, or sorry, we're, we're just smashing any contract they end up in. It looks like East might think that their partner's two heart bid is not normal because East doubled four spades. Not sure. I mean, East also has three tricks in their own hand. Club, two clubs. Uh, 
I'm terrified of clicking on bids again because I think that asks them to explain, but like, how do you find the alert if you can't click on the bid? I, I would like to know what one club and two clubs were explained as now, but I forgot to look. Oh well, it's probably fine. I'll assume that they have clubs. <clears throat> So what would I do differently if I was aware that West was doing something strange with their two hard overcall? One club was two plus, thanks. Yeah, makes sense. So two diamonds showing um, a weak no trump. I guess if I thought West could have a bad hand then I probably would have um, passed the double of three hearts. Maybe I would just, mm, yeah, I'm not really sure. I would probably pass the double of three hearts, let partner bid three spades. Then pass four hearts later if it, that came around to me. I have no idea. I honestly have no idea. Well, we got out for down one. Oh, good. East has said be right back in the middle of the hand. <laughs> That's excellent. So are the Ukraine players from Ukraine? Ukraine? Ukraine. They are. Who would have guessed? I think it can be kind of tricky if only one player in your partnership has picked up on the fact that the opponents have made some wild and insane preamps. Hopefully both my partner and I have realized this. And then the strategy to deal with it is that when they preempt, or in this case, overcall vulnerable, um, not necessarily with this hand in the north, but you kind of take more conservative views on your cards and either hope that their partner raises and then you can double them for penalty. Or if you have a hand that looks, you know, maybe borderline, but with good trumps, you pass, let your partner reopen with double and go after them. And it just creates higher variance situations because, um, I mean, obviously, if West had passed, we would have reached a spade part score and we wouldn't be losing these six imps for going minus 100. Um, but when they overcall, like they're offering themselves up to go minus 800, but sometimes we double them and we just have to accept that we're going to give out minus 670 every once in a while. It's it's all about, like, we can't just let them get away with these sorts of overcalls. Otherwise, they'll continue doing it and apply a lot of pressure to our auctions. Like, partner's three heart call on the last hand. Crazy, <laughs> to be clear. But... Um, but it's not too far off, and obviously partner felt a little bit pressured given the too hard overcall. <clears throat> okay, like <laughs> I I don't know if you can really just like get up and say BRB and leave in the middle of a hand. Three spades splinter. I'm going to pass. I don't want to give them any extra room. And also, I don't know if double would show the right the thing to partner. I would like double to say, please lead a spade against three now. <clears throat> but partner has heard the splinter, so hopefully he's aware as well. Like, he's not going to lead a spade from King Jack 3rd anymore, which I would like him to do. 
But I think most of the time he'll find the spade lead. If he has a four card suit, he'll probably lead it. So I do expect to still get the spade lead a decent chunk of the time here. There's the spade. Oh boy. We have a decision to make when we get in with the diamond ace. Why did I say no smith? I said no smith to make things simple. Diamond. Partner plays the eight. Didn't I say upside down? I did say upside down. I want to be a little careful. If I duck too many diamonds, Declare might be able to score two diamonds, five clubs, the Ace of Hearts and the Ace of Spades. But if I pay, if I get to duck a diamond and get a signal from partner, I am you know, hopefully partner will let me know if I should continue spades or um, switch to hearts. So I'm going to duck a second diamond. And now if partner pitches a spade, I will play hearts. If partner pitches a discouraging heart, I will play spades. If partner pitches a club that's just not useful in any way. Thanks, pard. Declare has to have at least one hard honor, right? Sorry, at least two hard honors if they... Um, no, Declare could have ace, king of spades, king of hearts. All right, I'm just going to play back a spade. I mean, partner didn't do their job, <laughs> so <laughs> it would have been helpful for partner to tell me um, what was going on. Okay, 6.30. Declare had plenty of tricks. <clears throat> hmm. Well, our card looks bad. <laughs> I mean, certainly we could have gone plus on three. Board one is interesting. One club on our right. Two plus. Same alert as last time. Hard on our left. I guess they're not playing transfers. Oh, I can now look at what the auction was. What was two clubs? Oh, two clubs showed diamonds on the previous board. <laughs> they're not playing transfers. Nice. Three diamonds, game force with hearts. Well, I don't want a diamond lead, so this is actually great. I get to pass, and partner is going to lead a black suit. Game forcing four hearts. What would people otherwise do with that hand? I guess they would bid four hearts. That's kind of cool. This saves a lot of space. And what do they give up? They give up like a splinter. 
they probably have a different way to show shortness. Maybe three clubs shows shortness of some kind. I guess three clubs showing shortness would be weird. I don't know. <clears throat> I believe Vugraph is on now. So there's a 30 minute delay between when we actually play and when Vugraph happens. Okay, West has a bad hand. Maybe not surprising. We have a 10 count. So I wonder if I should double to get a club lead. I think I have too many clubs. East is pretty likely to come down with club length. I mean, assuming one club has any sort of natural element to it. There's our spade lead. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? This is a game force? These, I, dude, I just, I need to start doubling these guys. I really need to start doubling these guys. <clears throat> All right, let's put partner in to get a club throw. Ineffective. but it looks like we weren't beating this. So West had King, Queen, Fifth of Hearts, the Queen of Diamonds, the Jack of Spades. I guess they had nothing else. They just have an eight count. And so they were trying to decide whether or not to... Um... They had a singleton club. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, like, opposite normal game forces, this would be an automatic club cubid. Yeah, it's singleton and partner suit, but you're 5-5. Five five. You have great trumps. You expect partner to have more than a strong no trump over there to game force. I mean, they have made all of the contracts that they have bid, but I do feel like I need to start doubling them if they're going to take all these unusual actions, very light actions. It's kind of like Mechstroth style or Mechwell style where they would just bid like crazy because no one doubled them. But once you realize that they're kind of insane bidders, then you can get back to average by doubling them more often. It increases variance. I mean, that's all it does. And my personal belief is that <laughs> Increasing variance is bad if you think you're the stronger team. But it's good if you think you're the weaker team. So maybe this Ukrainian team feels a little bit outmatched against some of these, uh, some of the other players. Oh, has it been my bid for a while? I'm sorry. I didn't realize. I was prepared to open a diamond, but I didn't see East Pass. <clears throat> Diamond, a heart overcall. Here we go. Man, if partner makes a negative double, I think I'm just sitting. Is that too much? Okay, partner's bit of spade. I will raise. I have spade support pard. Good luck. I don't think it's too much. You gotta send a message, right? Like against people who, I think there are players who 
don't pay attention to the message opponents are sending. Like, if you do double them and they escape and they get, like, plus 160 or something on this board, then, um... You know, they'll be like, oh, that's good. Like, we got a great result again. Let's keep doing what they're doing. And they won't realize that the opponents have kind of changed up their style to be very aggressive about doubling them. But some do. Okay, three clubs from partner. I'm very worried about ace, fourth of hearts. I'm going to bid three diamonds as a counter try. Like, I have some stuff. I mean, I don't have a fitting club card, but I do have ace-king-ace ace in the red suits. Club shortness. All right, good luck, pard. My hand would be so much better if the ace of hearts was the ace of clubs, then I would happily accept partners game try despite having only 12. Good luck, pard. Yeah, and then... It's not as if four spades would be a great contract, but you can see on the heart lead, it goes heart to the ace. If West has the spade king for their overcall, which I would tend to believe they don't at this point in time, um, we might be able to go heart to the ace, heart back, club to the ace, club, and then plan on roughing two clubs. Pick up the trumps for one loser, maybe. I mean, how bad would one heart doubled have been on this hand? <laughs> we have two diamonds, two hearts, at least one spade, probably a diamond rough. That's six tricks already. King of spades is on our left, and we'll have an easy seventh trick. We would be plus 200, and three spades could even go down. Although it looks like the opponents are not intent on defeating us. They need to be pulling trumps, of course. Partners should definitely play low here. I forgot. I'm, I'm trying not to um, comment on the play too much when partners declaring. Just got to take a break. Chill. Why low? You want to use to play towards the ace queen? Well, West has the spade king. I mean, we know West has the spade king because West didn't switch to spades when they got in um, with the ace of clubs. So I'm less concerned about a spade switch from West than I am from East. Also, East is the one who probably knows what's going on defensively. It seems clear that West doesn't know how to defend we can see from our perspective that we want to be roughing clubs and dummy, so either opponent pulling trumps is bad for us. But if West switches to a spade away from the king, we can win the jack, and then we'll be able to rough um, with low trumps. Ooh. Club roughed, West over roughs, and now what? If hearts are 6-1, we're down, right? Heart rough, club rough. Okay, hearts are not 6-1. <clears throat> yeah, now partner can just rough a club with the jack of spades and we're all good. We got all the other spade spots. 
No Trump promotion here. Yeah, like if West had switched to the five of spades, we would have been able to win the six in dummy. And that would give us at least good information about the spade suit. Oh, I have 12. Let's open. Hey, we got a plus score. Look at us go. That feels okay. Club, a spade, a bit of no trump. Hopefully East comes in. I'm I'm now ready. I'm so ready for when East comes in or when West comes in. And it's kind of hilarious that like if West came in now at the two level with two of a red suit, I wouldn't even care what my hand was. I would just double because <laughs> if they think that this is a too hard overcall, vulnerable against not. <laughs> the fact that they don't come in over a club means that they just have nothing. <clears throat> club, a spade, a no trump, two diamonds. Ooh, this is exciting. I guess we're going to find out what sort of um, new miner we're playing immediately. I will bid... Two no, I guess. If I knew this was game forcing, I would bid three clubs. That way we could sort out whether or not we have a diamond stopper if that becomes relevant. But the partner might intend it as just um, one way new miner. Partner bids four spades. Yeah, this uh, we could lose a slam swing on this. I'm going to pass, but um, I am worried with king doubleton of spades and ace king third of hearts that if partner has like a singleton diamond over there, we could easily be missing a slam swing. It seems as if partner was intending this as a slam try, but it's hard on disgust, right? If we don't know that two diamonds is game forcing, partner wasn't able to bid three spades to show a game forcing hand with single suited spades. Well, slam is a pretty good spot. If the spades come home, we're basically cold for it. And even if the spades don't come home, we might be able to pick up the clubs. Hey, Babs. Playing in the alt. I know. I kind of got recruited yesterday for it, and because I didn't end up playing, they coerced me into playing this morning. Another heart. All right, so we'll pitch a diamond. It's probably right to just go... King of spades, spade to the jack. Uh, I, I need to stop talking. <laughs> I, need, I just, I want to talk about bridge or something, but <laughs> I need to just like quit it when partner's declaring. That's really good news that both spades and clubs aren't working because, I mean, slam looks like a pretty good spot on the north-south cards. So the fact that we missed it, but things don't split well, this could be a swing for us. You never watch Partner Declare, need to need brain rest. I know it's, it's a good skill to have, being able to just like tune things out. In bigger competitions, it is important to know where you stand. But I think one sort of shortcut that most um, expert or world-class players make is they just, they expect that 
their partner has done the normal thing on declare a play. So sometimes they'll watch if they're like, oh, you know, I thought for a long time and I bid five hearts over five diamonds doubled. Uh, they'll watch a little bit to figure out if five diamonds was going down or how many it was going down and mentally chalk up how many imps that was. But it is kind of important to just like not invest too much effort into um, your partner's declaring for sure. Why am I ever calling a spade? I don't even want a spade lead. Whatever, we could compete. You're just happy they're declaring and not you. <laughs> it does take a lot of pressure off, that's true. <clears throat> I guess I just feel like talking about things while I'm streaming specifically. Like if I was playing this and I wasn't streaming, I definitely would like, I don't know, be be browsing YouTube or something like during my spare time rather than watching Partner Declare. <laughs> um, <clears throat> two hearts is a negative double with five clubs. They have some fun conventions that these guys are playing at the very least. Two hearts, four hearts, and five or more clubs. Three spades from partner. I am out. Nope, we're uh, we're passing that so fast. We're done. I am. I'm going for like eleven hundred in this contract. Why did I overcall a spade? Okay. Well, it looks like it worked out okay. We got to preempt them, and the opponents took us off the hook. Four clubs pass pass. Sure, buddy. Let's lead our suit. Yeah? Okay. Unsuccessful. I'm sure Declare's pitching from dummy at trick one as well. Pass past four clubs, man. It's interesting that East didn't double us. I think double by East should be penalty in this auction because West has already showed such a constrained type of hand, four hearts and five or more clubs. East double should be penalty. Jack for king ace. Yeah, I, I wonder why East didn't go after a penalty. Maybe they only have three spades, partner preempted with five. It's possible. I'm going to play low. Ooh, Declare just takes a first round hook. Strange. My spades can be used as suit preference here. Partner should know that I have a bunch of small spades to play and I can use them to signal for either diamonds or hearts. So if Declare pulls another trump, I will pitch. Uh, I'm gonna pitch the eight of spades. Declare throwing a diamond from dummy makes it kind of obvious that um, Huh. <laughs> that they have diamond losers, but now they haven't pitched a diamond. Two, eight, nine, Jack.
I mean, it looks like Declare probably has the Heart Ace, and they're also the Diamond Ace. They have like a 14 count. That would make sense. I don't know why they played a club to the Jack. That seems like a really weird play. What if Declare has a Doubleton Club? Oh, Declare is like 4-4, four, 3-2 four, in shape. I'm still pretty convinced they can't have... No, then they would have played in hearts. I don't understand why they played a club to the jack. That doesn't make any sense to me. 4-3-4-2? Four, 4-3-4-2 three, four, two. Four, three, four, two would make sense. But then why did they pitch a diamond, not a heart from dummy? Dude, I'm, I'm so lost. I'm so completely lost. Partner playing the king of spades at trick one really makes this hard. Because I would like to lead a spade now. All right, I'm just gonna lead the king of diamonds. We'll see if this works. <clears throat> I mean, it's only bad if Declare has both the ace and queen. If Declare has just the queen, sure, I've set up a diamond, but one extra pitch on the queen of spades and the heart suit doesn't help them. King, six, five, ace. I mean, partner should not have played the king of spades at trick one, for sure. That made my life a little bit difficult. I'm still really confused about this, um... Club to the jack play. Sounds like Declare had the Ace Queen of Diamonds. Oh well. We get a heart. Partner really needed to fly the Ace of Hearts and put a diamond through. Oh, we get a heart in a club! Look at that! <laughs> we get a heart in a club, down one. I'll take it. So it was a Doubleton Club. So he started with four, three, four, two. Yeah, partner needs to rough this and then cash the ace of hearts. So wasn't the best defense, but it's kind of hard defending with a new partner. We went plus. I mean, probably feels pretty good. I don't know if we were making three spades. Probably not. We have a... We have two clubs, two spades, a diamond to lose off the top. And then we still have to deal with the 4-0 trump split. Partners opened a spade. Oh my god. Let's game force. Yeah, this was really weird. Why did Clara pitch a diamond instead of a heart from dummy at trick one? I don't understand. Very strange line of play.
Uh, I would love it if two spades showed extra trump length. <laughs> Let's start by bidding two now, though, because I don't... I would like to declare the no trump if that's where we end up. Protecting both my club and diamonds. Three hearts by partner. Showing a doubleton. Partner could have raised two hearts to three with three card support. Probably. I'm going to show delayed spade support. And if partner bids four spades, I guess my plan is to just bid key card. If partner bids three now. I could bid four no. Um, I mean, I'm definitely going to make a try at some point. Partner has bid four clubs. Q bid. God, we didn't talk about our key card, but presumably 1430, right? That's what everyone plays. Am I going to get a response I can't handle? Or sorry, a response I'm not going to understand. Let's let's just let's just quickly check on this before I do something other than Cubid Four Diamonds. Okay, presumably fourteen thirty. So if partner shows me two with, it's somewhat tempting to bid six no and hope that partner's two with or the ace, king, queen of spades. That way my king of diamonds gets protected from the opening lead. I'm a little bit concerned about letting partner declare this one, not because I think partner's been doing a terrible job, but because I think... Um, yeah, okay, he bids two with. But I'm a little worried that if partner's two with really is like ace, king, queen of spades, we might be off two diamonds. And I think east on this auction is going to lead a diamond. Let me just think about other um, two withs that partner could have. Ace, queen of spades, ace of diamonds. We probably also want to be in six now. King, queen of spades, ace of diamonds, six no is fine. Like, if partner's club cubid was a singleton, which it easily could be, I think, you know, I want to protect the queen of clubs, but that's done in no trump, which is okay. Yeah, let's bid six no. This feels like, you know, I, I just, I really want to protect this diamond king. So... <clears throat> Seems important. Where are we? We're halfway through the match. Thanks, Pard. Uh, well, we can't claim just yet. So let's 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 pause and think about five zero spades for half a second. <laughs> um. <clears throat> okay, good enough. Nine ninety. There is no rough. Six spades would have worked just fine. But yeah, you can see if partner had small doubleton diamond and ace king queen jack whatever spades, um, then we really wanted to play this in no trump. 
probably gonna be flat, sadly. Yeah, nice result. We got a slam on the board. And the opponents have stopped overcalling, which is really rude of them. I think they should be overcalling more. That would be nice. If we can just get, you know, that one 1100 against our part score, then I would feel a lot better about the set. Board eight, definitely a win. Maybe even a system win. Because West with the Spade Void, you know, and also not sure about East Club Length. Anyway, Club a Spade. Two diamond overcall. Hopefully partner doesn't have garbage like everyone else at the table. We'll find out. Double. Is that getting passed out? I hope not. But I would wish partner the best of luck if it was. Three clubs by West. Hmm. Three diamonds. Partner is insistent on getting doubled. Could we have a heart game? Probably. But I just, I mean, I can't bid. My hand's so bad. I suppose if we had a heart game, partner could have uh, doubled three clubs rather than bidding three diamonds, so. Good luck, pard. It's a hand. I'm not really sure why partner wanted to compete. Partner has seven tricks in hand and might end up with seven tricks, depending on the king of spades. Yeah, three diamonds feels like a really weird bid to me. Two diamonds should have already showed this hand. You know, you're bidding at the two level between two bidding opponents. It's not like this is your minimum for your two level overcall vulnerable, right? This should be almost a minimum. You know, maybe the similar hand with, like, not the Jack of Diamonds or whatever could be your minimum for a two-level overcall. I, I suppose you could have the same thing without the Spade Ace, same hand without the Spade Ace, but, like, then, of course, you don't want to be bidding to the three-level either. So club lead, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, this is super weird to me. Why would BBO allow you as dummy to take a look back through all of the tricks? It feels like they should just disable this feature for anyone playing at the table. Yeah, this this is insane. I mean, people can easily cheat using this. Yeah, I don't I don't know about this. Um Club to the queen, diamond to the king, club. Partner's doing his best to get out for down one but I suspect he's going to end up down two. And like, what are we competing against? We're competing against the opponents getting to three clubs and maybe not even making it, right? Weren't the opponents in three clubs in a seven fit on this auction? They were, yeah. So 
So again, kind of showing that, you know, while a lot of people will play, oh, good, you can click on bids and then click an explain button. I feel so much better. But I guess I can't click on one spade, right? Because then that would ask the opponents to alert. But if they've already alerted, there's an explain button. So just clicking on the bid again won't force them to get a pop-up and be upset. Ah, King of Spades on side, so we are just down one. But the opponents were maybe going down in three clubs, probably going down. I think West should um, bid two spades over the double. Maybe two hearts. You could have like an agreement that the two heart bid shows this type of hand. It's only four spades, but um, a club fit. So that you don't get to the three level on a 4-3 fit. Instead, you get to play two spades on the 4-3. Although maybe the important point was West wanted to be dummy wanted their partner to declare. And if they bid two spades, then they couldn't do that. But the three club bid was perfect for it. One club by West, heart by East. I will pass. A no trump, weak. All pass. Sounds good. Eight of spades lead. Uh huh. That looks like high from a doubleton to me. Man, if that is the eight from eight third, we're going to be so sad that the seven of spades is still here. Declare kind of has an extra stopper. All right, let's switch to diamonds. Diamond, queen, ace, three. Need to figure out where this nine of diamonds is. play club through. I would have loved to have partner switch to or continue a low spade at any point. Um, but Given that he didn't, maybe it's ace, ten, eight of spades, and partners worried that if they play back the ten of spades, yeah, okay, so they do play the ten of spades. Um, gonna win the queen if I can 
Huh. <laughs> okay, that was strange. That was very strange. Declare ducks a club. So what's Declare's hand? They have the king of clubs. Um, they have the queen of diamonds. They have the ace of spades. They gotta have a heart card. Probably. Should I try and cash the Diamond King? Declare ducks a club. And they gotta have four clubs. Two spades. So three hearts and four diamonds, yeah. Declare has four diamonds, so cashing the Diamond King is not good. We'll just set passively exit a club. I am gonna have to pitch a heart when they cash the last club. Long tank. I mean, if they pitch a spade, I can pitch a spade. But if they don't, I'm gonna have to pitch a heart. It's kind of weird. It seems very natural to throw your spade loser as declarer, but... Um... You know, you can afford to lose a trick in the end game. All you need to do is be able to cash three hearts if you can. <clears throat> Long tank from Declare. So they had... Ace, Ace of Spades, Queen of Diamonds, um, King, Queen of Clubs is 11. They probably have the, um, yeah, they probably have the Heart King. Seems like it. Well, 120. Could cash the Diamond King to hold him to nine. It's very strange when the jack of spades holds trick one, that when partner gets in, they don't play back a spade. That seemed really weird to me. I would very much preferred to have partner play back spades and us set up our spade tricks. We could score three diamonds, two spades, and two clubs maybe, pretty easily, in fact. 
partner playing back a diamond was super strange. Hmm. All right, club opener, spade over call. We have a good hand. I will cubid if possible. Two diamonds showing hearts. I mean, this is almost a hand where I want to go after them, but not with a big spade fit. I will bid two hearts, cubid. I don't need much from partner to make a game. Like, king, fifth of spades, and a singleton heart is... We're, we're close. <laughs> and hopefully partner's not overcalling that. Vulnerable. So I think if partner signs off in two spades, I will try again, and I don't know what that try should be. Could bid three diamonds to show diamonds. It's not that relevant. I mean, if partner has a singleton diamond, that doesn't really affect me. The, the bigger part of my hand is that I have a fourth trump, so I would be tempted to bid three spades. Oh, okay. Four clubs by West. Well. We've kind of hit the crossroads. I think against players that I wasn't certain they were, like, psyching on every hand... I might have just bid four spades in balancing, but I probably would have balanced double here. Maybe partners should um, be going after four clubs if they have a penalty. Okay, we, we need to focus. What the hell is going on now? Partner bid four spades after my limit raise. Five clubs. I feel like we have duplicated club shortness. Um, I would like to make a forcing pass. I'm very worried about losing a lot of heart tricks. King, queen of spades. I don't know. Partner bid four spades. How are we making that if they have three, ha three hearts to take? I'm going to double. I'm, I'm not convinced that we're making it the five level, even though we could be. Definitely could be. If I knew pass was forcing, I would do that. But with a new partner, just can't really afford to let five clubs go undoubled, which I'm not convinced pass should be forcing. But we'll see. I do feel like we have duplicated club shortness, though, which is what's happening. Partners bidding, thinking their singleton or voiding clubs is a good card. OK. Fair enough. All right, we need a, oh boy. We could be making a slam. I, I think partner has a club void. I don't know if that's good for us. We still have a lot of hearts to deal with. But something like king of diamonds, ace of hearts, club void, and king queen sixth of spades. We're just basically cold for a slam. Hmm. Pulling the double is a really strong bid. Partner could have cubed on the way to four spades if they had a big hand. Okay, I'm going to let it go. 
It's hard in a new partnership. Good luck, Pard. They don't have a club void. Holy crap. Well, that's, that's very interesting. I wonder why partner didn't sit for the double. I mean, they did the right thing. I don't understand what's going on in the opponent's auction. Where are all the hearts? West wasn't able to raise hearts. East must have seven of them. Huh. Gotta guess that spade queen. King of spades is an interesting play. We'll see, did partner do the right thing? Didn't matter. No, West had a heart fit and just bid four clubs. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Also, oh my god, East. Um, I wonder, does East think that seven clubs is a good save against four, five spades? If so, they should probably save six clubs. Be prepared to just save seven clubs over six spades. Partners open to no trump. Look at this. <laughs> we have nine tricks in our hand. Thoughts on Gerber followed by the inappropriate number of no trump. Oh, I'm going to be a minute. Texas key card to... Show all the keys. Ask for kings. Partner shows the king of clubs. Now what? I can ask for the king of hearts. I could ask for the king of diamonds. It's fortunate we have spades and not hearts, huh? Do I have anything better to do than just key card and ask for kings? I think the answer is no. If we're off two key cards, I mean, fine, we're off two aces. Could they have ace, king, ace to cash? Partner has like king, queen, jack of diamonds, king, queen, jack of clubs, queen, jack of hearts, 15. Um, <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Hit me with it, pard. Two without. Five hearts. Partner shows one. Okay, partner shows two. I'll bid five now. So I've confirmed all the key cards in the trump queen. Now, I mean, this, this doesn't really help because partner has no idea what our hand looks like. But we are asking for kings. Specific kings, hopefully. Seven, no. Okay, I mean, that's that's fine, but I don't think this should be a bid in partner's arsenal here. Um, with the hand that I hold, we're cold for seven now. 
But yeah, this should definitely not be a bid that partner um, can make because I might need a specific king. I could be too suited with spades and a different suit, like let's say clubs. Um, and I'm just like looking specifically for the king of clubs. Um, but works out just fine when I have this extra source of tricks and spades and I'm, I'm just kind of looking for extra tricks somewhere. Partner hath some. <clears throat> It's a nice bid from partner. I mean, I don't want to fault it too much, but I, I, I do think that, you know, you, you, you better you better spend some time to make sure that partner can't actually have two suited where they just like literally need um, one specific king. One club. I'm just gonna pass, whatever. I, I was planning to pass and I'm, I'm just gonna pass. Hey Koopa, good morning. Three boards to go. How's our set? We never got that big penalty against the opponents, which I was licking my lips for earlier in the session. No, oh, I'm so tired. I wonder how we're doing. You know, the slam and the grand feel flat. The five spades is probably a good result. One no is nine to 10 balanced with no four card major. Thanks, ops. Four clubs down one is probably good. Three spades making exactly three is probably good. Staying out of slam on board seven was the wrong thing to do, but it worked on this hand. But some of our beginning boards are not great. I don't think it's going to cost us like 10 imps or something, like four spades doubled, but it could easily cost us like six or seven. Four spades down three, also not ideal. One club, one no. Three no. Sure. Partner can lead their own suit. I'm hoping it's spades. <laughs> really hoping it's spades and not hearts. Yeah, overcalling a diamond could work. It's not very preemptive. And it kind of gets our side off to the wrong lead a lot of the time. Queen of hearts. I will unblock the nine in case that is relevant. It's also kind of the proper signal. I don't have the 10. Okay. Nine of hearts. Well, queen of hearts holds. Could be from king, queen, whatever. Partners continued the eight to the king. Now a club. Sure. I will win. And now what? So East bid three now on a weak or a strong no trump. I wonder what their no trump range is. Have they ever opened a no trump in this set? They haven't. There's been two times where he's just tables a strong no trump in the dummy and his game forced. I guess I'm gonna switch to spades. If I knew which king partner had, I would switch to the other suit in spades or diamonds. I could play back a club. I mean, that's not all that productive defensively, but at least it doesn't give up a spade or a diamond. Finesse.
If I switch to spades and it's right, what happens? Declare wins, knocks out partner's club, partner continues spades. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> Club. Ace of diamonds. Looks like I have guessed incorrectly. Queen of diamonds. Now a club. Any moment now, we're going to get a club. Ace of hearts. Now a club. Jack of clubs. We did it. Pitch the beer. Probably not scoring that card anytime soon. I don't know, did we get double squeezed? Is that what just happened? I have no idea what's going on in the heart suit. If Declare has an extra heart in their hand, we just got... No, Declare can't have a heart in their hand. Because <clears throat> we knew they had a diamond. 4.30. Diamond return would have worked out better. We've got a strong no trump. Uh, we're going to call it 15 to 17. Because I have no idea what our range is. I think that's what most people play. Especially undiscussed. Two boards to go. One no, three no. Thanks, Pard. Wait for it. West hasn't passed. You never really want to, like, say thanks, partner, and then your left-hand opponent, like, doubles or something and then you run and it's just like well <laughs> West is thinking an awful long time having not been able to overcall a strong no trump I mean they could have ace king queen fifth of clubs that's the only thing that it sounds like they might hold looking at my hand which is why they're thinking I don't know I mean I'm pretty sure you just like pass and lead your ace king queen fifth and hope it caches you don't really want to double let them know um that something's going wrong partner is 11 we got four spades three hearts a diamond at least the opponents lead second best so this could be like jack third or something it could obviously be high from a bunch of small cards uh, we can technically force a club trick. I think I'm just going to play club to the nine right now. We'll worry about what to do next if um, if this loses to like the 10 or something.
All right. Well, we've probably made our contract, assuming that wasn't a false card of the Queen of Clubs from, like, Queen 10. Uh, you can have a diamond. <clears throat> All right, last board. Diamonds are 3-3, three, three. Jack was offside, but 6-30. I mean, I expect the other table to make it. They might take fewer tricks. They might take more tricks. Like, although that seems kind of hard. Just thanking our opponents for playing. They were good sports. They didn't do anything that um, that seemed even in the slightest bit like shady or strange. I know that that hasn't always been the case from some of the players in these events, so happy to have played against them. And they had some cool conventions as well. They were playing some unusual types of transfers, strange responses to their could-be-short-one club. A club, a diamond, zero to 11. Oh my god, like this. Like this, exactly this. Uh, this gives me the opportunity to overcall heart. I think I'm going to take it. I would like to um, tell partner which major suit I have in case the opponents end up in no trump. I don't really want to compete, but we're not vulnerable, so... Am I playing next round? No, I'm not. And there's a pretty big delay. I might, if the Vugraph is still going on, I might stick around for the last, like, however many boards, and we'll check out how we finish. Um, but yeah, I'm probably not going to stick around to do, like, commentary like I did yesterday for the entire day. I have no idea who's playing in the next set. I saw Steph was online earlier. Is Steph still online? Steph is still online, yeah. He's playing in a team match. Um, so I guess he is probably playing on the other side of the bracket. If you wanted to check out his team, he's on Gavin's squad. I assume Gavin's not playing. He was doing the Rob Barrington thing earlier, I saw. I wonder if two hearts is intended as non-constructive transfers over a major double always. Probably not. Not undiscussed. Yeah, the Wednesday morning thing. How was it this morning if you all saw it and then headed over here? Was it a good set? A fun set? Three now. Okay, what the fuck is going on in this auction again? One club is two plus. A diamond showed something. Double eventually showed eight to 11, no four card major. A diamond is zero to 11 is really weird. Um, they were going for eight in a row wins, but had a couple of bad boards. That's too bad. They'll have to start fresh next week for another streak. Uh, we lead our heart suit, right? Yeah. Dude, what is their no trump range? <laughs> now they've tabled an 18 count, <laughs> balanced 18. So they can't open a no trump with balanced 16 or 18. I think there was a 17 in there as well. 
But I think they've also showed weak no trumps some of the time. Ooh, heart to the queen holding. Oh, but I have no entry. Yeah. Hmm. It doesn't look like I have any productive switches. Let me think about that. What if partner has a club and the king of diamonds? I switch to a diamond now. Is this possible? East is showing 8 to 11. So East has the hard apes. Spade Jack is 5. Jack of Diamonds is 6. The Jack of Clubs is 7. I'm going to say no. So that layout's not possible. Queen of Diamonds could be an entry. I mean, it's going to take way too long for the Queen of Diamonds to be an entry. Declare will have all their tricks in the black suits, but I think it's right to say that a diamond switch is never necessary to beat the contract if we can beat it. I'm trying to think about, like, what layout could it ever be true? Yeah, there, it's just not. Let's, um... Let's just exit a heart. Let Declare do his own thing. Maybe Declare wastes a spade trick by leading the jack out of hand. That would be nice. Nope. Four of spades. King. Ah! Um, I don't know why I pitched the six instead of the eight of clubs. It's fine. Yeah, I, I don't need to be thinking. Declare just has a claim. Uh, let's pitch a heart then, I guess. Okay. That's all of them. We might have been the last table to finish. Oh, uh, they're not going to give us scores. Can I leave? The back button's just grayed out. I'm just... Oh my god, what did I do? Okay, how are things? We are... Ukraine amateurs, 13 to 2, so we're down a little bit. It's like, what's going on in the other room? Where are where the imps scored? Board 3, okay. So board 3, we lost a few imps. How did they make 10 tricks? 10 tricks is a lot in spades. 10 tricks is a lot, because there's two natural spades and two clubs. But that was seven. Those were the big results. Wow. They got to six hearts on this one. No justice. No justice. That's too bad. Board eight, we cost two for poor defense against four clubs, but at least we went plus. Three spades was going to go down. Our teammates tried three now. Man, West did a lot of bidding. I mean, West was a past hand, I guess. So doing a lot of bidding as a past hand is sometimes okay. I'm 
Sorry, Babs. Um. <laughs> There we go. You can repost the link. I just have my bots timeout links now because we had a bunch of um, robot spam coming in the chat. There you go. <laughs> Night fight with the fast van hammer. Exactly. I guess we finished much earlier than the other table. Yeah, so if you want a spoiler, you can check out that link for the results. I will go ahead and have a look. Looks like the match was close, but we didn't. That's not really what we wanted. Seligman got another win. I think the match is still going, right? Because the other table... So we just finished, but we're on a 30-minute delay. So this is the other table in our match. But there's no way they played through seven boards in half an hour. That would be speedball style, and clearly we finished way ahead of them. Um, what's going on in the other room? Yeah, okay, so we're two boards ahead of them. So there's still a couple of boards to come for comparisons. It shows them still playing 14. That sounds about right. Yeah, they're still playing right now. So 30 minutes in the future, they're still going to be on board 14. We still have a couple of comparisons to go. I don't even remember what our results were for those boards though, so I have no idea if we'll pick up some imps. Yeah, this table was very slow. Not the one we played at. Our table was a little slow, but it wasn't too bad. But the other table in the match was very slow. Man, I'm super disappointed, but I am happy that we didn't um, end up losing a ton of imps on board one and board three, where obviously we could have gotten sizable penalties against the opponents but they duplicated four spades down at the other table, although somehow Declare wound up, wound up down two instead of down three. And then two spades was bid. Teammates slipped a trick on defense, costing an imp, but that's about it. So this was the one where we had a really strange defense against a no trump. Partner led a spade, which was turns out to be a great lead. I mean, on the auction, I think he showed hearts. I don't recall. Um, but then when partner got in with the diamond ace, they just continued diamonds, which was really weird. You know, a spade to the jack holding. You know partner has at least the queen, and maybe even the ace over there. Should probably continue that ten of spades when you get in. I don't know, could we have beat a no trump? Spade to the jack, di jack of diamonds, queen, ace, ten of spades to the ace. Now declare works on clubs. Let's say they play a heart to the jack and a club to the king. Partner wins, continue spades. And Declare has two spades, a club, and four hearts. Now, I guess we were never beating it. Declare can always cash out their seven tricks. Partner could have feared Declare holds ace third of spades. Yeah, but... I don't know. Maybe... That's like a, a maybe. I'll put it this way. It's certainly not a nullo to continue a second diamond. 
I'm sure there are layouts of the cards where continuing a diamond is necessary and continuing spades is bad. But like, partner could just have ace, queen, jack, fourth of spades and is like, cool, I won the jack of spades, I'm not going to play back into the king, I guess I'll switch to diamonds, <laughs> looking at the small doubleton and dummy. What all happened? They got to a no trump as well. Club a heart and no trump. Same spade lead, ten of spades. This time declare one. Played a heart to the jack, club to the king. Yeah. Spade continuation. So we're getting similar defense at this table. Although Declare's line of play was a bit different. I think I like winning the Spade Ace. You really don't need much. Oh, spoiler. We lost by five. Big spoiler. I guess that means there were some imps that we picked up later in the set. Who knows what those are. I'm not sure I understand um, ducking the spade. I suppose it never hurts. The defense can cash at most four diamonds from here. If South had started with like King 10 third or King Jack third, then that Jack of Diamond switch would be necessary to pick up the suit. Didn't partner return the five of diamonds at our table, or did he return the six? I wasn't paying that careful attention to the diamond spots. Eight of spades to the jack, jack of diamonds, queen ace. Okay, partner did return the six. I was having, like, gib flashbacks. Yeah, so south here was not as careful. Sets up declares nine of diamonds. And now Declare actually just has the rest. So push. I could have saved an imp if I had cashed the Diamond King in the position we ended up in. King of Hearts, another heart hook. <laughs> oh my god, he flies the ace. <laughs> okay. Making one. Scared that South had ducked from Queen Third of Hearts. It's not a very realistic defensive play to find. I'm I'm pretty sure even at Imp Games you just you just take that hook. But you kind of need to know what to look out for, right? If, um, in a different scenario, if it was like ace, queen, jack, ten, and dummy, and you took a first round finesse and south doesn't win, then there is some real possibility that south is ducked. Costs an imp, no big deal. West opens a no trump. I like it. South playing low on the first heart relatively slowly gave Declare a bit of pause. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think that often is just about, like, defenders trying to give the right signal. 
one of the things Michael Schuster liked to bring up when we were doing commentary is that he thinks Smith is a convention that just like gives a lot of unauthorized information away. So he doesn't like it for that reason. And that could have been what South was thinking about. You know, declare one the spade ace at trick one, trick two plays a heart to the jack. South thinks about their Smith signal. All right, one no. So North should overcall showing spades in a minor or something like that, if they can. Two spades, no alert, but probably spades in a minor. Maybe. Ducking from Queen Thirds an insane play. Yeah, that's my point, is that, um, you know, playing low from Queen Third there often is just going to give up a trick. So there's kind of no reason to do it. But playing low from King Doubleton, there is some like practical reason to make that play. So you kind of have to know the odd or what plays are quote unquote insane or so strange that it would never be made. Oh, two spades is just natural showing spades. Interesting. Yeah, the hands really fit well for both north, south, and east, west. I mean, seven clubs is a good save against five spades. So... That's why I was thinking at our table, East should maybe just be saving over five spades as well. I understand from East's perspective that they don't want to push us to six spades, which from their perspective looks like it's making. But if they're always planning to bid seven clubs over six spades, then there you have it. <laughs> um... Yeah, two losers for both sides. The singletons in every suit. North just let five hearts go. North has so much shape. Partner did well on this hand. So... We could pick up our swing here. East thinking over five hearts is strange. No partner. Yeah, I had to play the entire set by myself. I was just guessing what partner's hand was the entire time. South decides to balance five spades. That is the joke, isn't it? Partner did okay. There were a couple of bids that were, I think, like way out there that partner made and a couple of unusual defensive plays, but partner did a lot of good stuff too, which is what you would hope for in a strong player. So all around pretty pleased, but we did miss some opportunities early. I wonder if East West like realized that we were going to start doubling them and adjusted their game. North pass quickly. You hit it when partner slow passes. Yeah, that's it is kind of that ethical concern, of course. Five speeds doubled. So we lost imps on this fort. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well,
ATN has messaged me on BBO. Hi, streaming. Build five spades bid. Yeah, I mean, see, I would have bid five spades with North's hand on that one. Like, North is the one that has all offense and no defense. South, I mean, if North's minor suit was clubs, would have a lot of defense and very little offense. Eh. Five imps, you know, what can you do? That's why, I like, you play bridge, because sometimes doing the best thing or the optimal thing doesn't always win. And it's kind of exciting to see what other people do in the same spots, although this wasn't exactly the same spot. Club by North. Yeah, the, the classic BBO, look at my profile alert. That's the way they do it. I'm gonna stand up for a minute. Oh, man, north-south at the other table must have done really well to reach seven no-trump on these cards, huh? A club passes spade. I wonder how north-south are going to handle the auction from here, because south has a really nice hand, but doesn't have as much info as I had at my table, which was that partnered opened a strong no-trump. Ooh, South just bid six spades. Yeah, yeah, they had a lot of trouble. <laughs> they did really well to reach seven no. See? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Might not have been the most amazing auction. <clears throat> This is how we got there in the other room. Texas transfer and key card. I haven't spent a lot of time thinking about partner seven no bid. It might be a good bid. It might not. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know what I would have done if partner just bid six hearts. I would have had to do some thinking. Seven spades is probably a good bid over six hearts. There has to be, I can count 12 on top. There have to be squeeze chances. I would probably have bid seven spades. 13 big ones. Oh, they've caught up. Look, we don't have a result from the other table even. So they're a bit ahead of us. I remember I thought for a long time after winning the club ace about what to do on defense. Hmm. Three no making four. What are you supposed to actually have? Three clubs, three diamonds, two hearts, and a spade, and the spade hook works. Maybe I should have just won the Ace of Clubs and played back a club. 
I was worried about doing that because the eight of clubs I thought might have been an important card. If partner had had king ten fourth in the club suit, which was possible, then ace of clubs, eight of clubs would have um, given to Claire two club tricks easily. They would cover with the nine and then be able to play clubs off dummy. Whereas if I don't return clubs, they might cross back to hand, um, lead a club up and end up only taking one club trick. Anyway. It's just over tricks. When have those ever mattered? Queen of Hearts. So we'll declare find the same duck. It looks right to duck. Whoa. Okay. Now that declare has not ducked the opening heart lead, I think um, they're probably not going to take the spade hook later. Jack of Clubs. This is this is a really bad line of play. <laughs> Man, what if that was a singleton ace in South Sand? What does the alt teams consist of? I don't know. It's like you have to register. There are some conditions of contest. Uh, it's based on this thing. Like, if you go there, there's, like, a big website about a bunch of stuff. And... Like, for future competitions, you see it, it'll it say, like, apply for invitation. So, I think normally they just admit the teams that have done it in the past, and I suppose if you have a new team that you want to register, you have to check with the organizers. Sometimes they'll let you do it. Why did my copied link have a slash in it? Whoa, HTTP is weird. Like in my browser, it doesn't have a slash. When I copy it, it doesn't like add a slash, but when I paste it, it adds a slash and the HTTPS. That's so weird. So somehow I'm copying. It's not text that I'm copying. I'm copying like a, a link, which I guess is different. Well, it's different formatting or something. I don't know. Strange. Anyway, hopefully that answered the question. It probably didn't. Declara has ducked a heart, so they can play a club to the king and a spade to the queen safely. Right? They still have the nine of clubs entry to the king of diamonds. So this should be a push. Do we have results on the last boards? Board 15, I made an over trick and three no. And then 16, I don't remember. Uh, okay. Oh, I see. Declare is trying to strip squeeze south. 
So Declare is playing south for the Spade King. South has done really well defensively. I think this is going to be an imp. Now it's not safe for Declare to go King of Diamonds Diamond. Throwing south in. I mean, West is just counting up the hand again, but King of Diamonds spade to the ace is guaranteed at this point. You just can't afford to take the spade finesse anymore. Declare could have tried the spade finesse if they wanted to, you know, not cashing that nine of clubs. This is probably a better line than taking the spade hook, so I like what Declare has done in the end game. But South has kind of found the counter. King of Diamonds, Spade to the Ace, Claim. We got two to go. Craig is complaining about my bidding on many of the hands. He's apparently watching. He's not in the chat, <laughs> but <laughs> he does feel obligated to text me that he's upset with my bidding. What a great guy. I wonder how they played this one. They'll probably open a no trump. They'll go one no three now or one no puppet stamen three now or something like that. And then West will lead a heart. Yeah, I have no idea how Declare is going to play the hand. The spade lead was helpful. Spade lead was definitely helpful. One no three now. No puppet stamen bidders. It feels close to me. The queen ten fifth of diamonds and queen ten double ten of spades feel no trumpy. But having only two spades and three hearts feels like if we have a five three heart fit and the fact that we only have an 11 count, maybe the five three heart fit will play better. You don't mind missing five three fits, Eric. It's a strong statement. <laughs> this is yeah, this this is getting very much more caveman oriented. <laughs> like like oh 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 real bad play, three no trump. Oh 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 <clears throat> Tanks pass by south over one no three now. You love to see it. Mm. 
So we do get the heart lead from the five card suit. I don't mind the spade lead that our opponents came up with at our table. I think it's okay. You know, West has no values. You want to set up partner suit. But maybe it's the case that partner suit is hearts, and that would make things very easy. If partner is ace, king, fourth of hearts, you might take the top five. A spade lead does require you to hit partner spades and for this to like somehow score five tricks eventually. I think if I was trying to guess, I might lead a diamond instead. I don't want to lead from 10 third of clubs. That could be an important honor. Um, but diamonds feels like it has a little bit of a better opportunity of actually establishing tricks because we have more of them and the 9-8 combination is kind of nice obviously the opponents haven't suggested major suits so that's why spade is a little bit attractive from the doubleton but it requires a lot more in partner's hand I don't know it feels close Heart, spade, or diamond seem okay. Maybe if I didn't want to lead a heart, I would lead a diamond. Spade feels like third choice to me. Hey, ATN. Good evening. So what happened? Declare played... A... Declare won the ace of hearts and played a diamond to the king and a diamond to the ten. Is that really the way they played this hand? What was their plan when East just returns a heart? Like, what were they going to do when East just plays a heart back? They win the king, and now what? Were they going to play a spade to the ten? Trying to get their second entry to set up the diamond suit? If it happens to split 3-3, three, three, were they going to play a club to the king, hoping to get an entry? I think Declare was going to go down if East had just played back a heart. I hate the spade switch. You know Declare has the ace king of spades from East's perspective because you can count up the high grid points. So there's some chance it doesn't cost if Declare has ace king third, but when Declare has ace king fourth, it looks real bad leading into that queen 10 doubleton. Yeah, heart lead feels passive and safe when you have all the defensive assets. Frequently, you just want to defend passively. <laughs> now East realizes they've screwed up, so they play back a heart, but it's too late. Spade to the queen, diamonds pitching clubs. East gets the ace of clubs, so push forward. I like my line of play. Then again, I got a spade lead, so it was easier. But playing on diamonds, I think, is not the way to go. It just can't be right. Clubs offers a much better chance to take a couple of tricks. Okay, push board. Last hand. Wait, but we've already spoiled the last hand because we know the result. We lost by five. So this is also going to be a push. Oh yeah, this hand was boring. This hand was just very boring. Giving up an imp, how rude. I mean, I think Declare was going down in three now on the previous board if East hadn't returned to spade. Declare was going to try and cross to the club king to get over to dummy. That wasn't going to work.
East West not going to push to six now? I don't think so. We'll take a look at the auction and then I'll probably um, end the stream. I'm getting very hungry, so I want to run and grab lunch, but we'll see how the auction goes to get to three now. And we do know the result. One club, two no invite. East has 18. Probably just bid three now. You could maybe think about looking for six clubs, but it's hard. You only have a four card club suit. Club to the king loses. East uh, does what? Well, I, I don't know how Declare is going to plan to get over to the north hand. If they play a spade to the queen first and then exit a diamond, then East could, of course, exit a spade. Um, if they play a club to the king first, then I guess East can't cash the diamond ace, so they would go queen of clubs club. So Declare might be able to come away with nine tricks. But they're going to need clubs to be 3-3 three, three with East having the ace-queen. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, this, this was not the best line of play. We'll put it that way. 2-0, 3-0. South will lead a heart, and that'll be that. 